Welcome to the Sandbox. We are at St. Simon's Island in the lovely Golden Isles off the coast of Georgia. I'm Rachel Burke and I'm the founder of Sandbox Consulting Group and the Sandbox SSI. We are here launching our very first vlog because, I don't know, we all need to watch one more thing, right? <laughs> but the reason I'm doing it is because I've had clients ask and I've had people who are curious as to what exactly are we doing here on St. Simon's Island. So this vlog, this first vlog is all about introducing the Sandbox, me and Shonda Kohlhoff, who I'm, I'm just delighted is right here with us today. She has joined the Sandbox to help bring it up to a whole new level. Um, Shonda, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you so much, Rachel. I'm happy uh, to have this opportunity to kind of share because I think we don't often take that opportunity to share what we stand for, what brings us to where we are. Um, I've always been passionate about people and communication. Those are probably the two strongest motivators in my life um, and building a business uh, for that in, to improve people's styles and recognize what they bring to the table I think is so critical, especially today when there's so much misunderstanding and division. This is the perfect way to sort of enable people to recognize what it is that's going on that could be going on and when I when I met you I knew this was meant to be and that we together uh, can definitely bring so much awareness and, and results to people who are looking for that as their next step. We ran into each other because the serendipity on this island is really pretty amazing. Um, Several people, I think you said. Yes. You tell your part that part. Yes. I mean, literally, it's amazing. Definitely, there's 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 a method to the madness. Uh, rhyme and reason is there. I, not just one person said you need to meet Rachel Berg, but three within just a week's time. So seven days, three completely unrelated people said, Shonda, you've got to meet Rachel. And so I did. And I'm so glad I did because they were absolutely spot on what they saw. Right. And I, I, I had a client who said, oh my goodness, you've got to meet Shonda. And I was delighted when I met Shonda that she had this breadth of experience. Sometimes when you're in a small market, you feel like, well, I'm not going to be um, surrounded with people that necessarily have the same kind of perspective. And it was shocking to find somebody who really approached communications and people um, empowerment the way that I did. She came from Sea Island, which for those of you who don't know about the Golden Isles and don't know about Sea Island, the cloister there is a five-star resort and they're really, really effective at um, empowering each employee to problem solve for the customer. It's an interesting way to approach training and it's top shelf five star. That kind of experience, that kind of training was something I wanted to bring to all my clients. She also has a background in um, consulting and coaching like myself, but she did it in Germany. In fact, as we started working together, it's hysterical because I'm opening up her laptop. We're talking about trying to get it to print in our brand new um, co-working space and our brand new expanded conference center. And I'm opening it and she goes, we're having problems. I said, well, the first problem is it's all in German. <laughs> so, <laughs> she was able to explain, okay, well, I'm fluent in German, et cetera. So the sandbox has been interesting because it started off as a coaching consulting three years ago in a suite. We've just recently expanded to take over most of the second floor of Victorian in the village. Walking distance to the pier, shopping, lots of fun. Um, walking distance to the beach. We've opened it up to have multiple spaces where people can come and they can have meetings, they can do brainstorming. You see behind us, not an aquarium. <laughs> I had one in an aquarium and my fiance who's been helping me, David Palco, said, no problem. He fixed one on the wall that's actually a smart TV. So no cleaning, it's awesome. We also have wall-sized whiteboards. So when people come to the sandbox, they're able to brainstorm, get their ideas out of their head, mm -hmm. up to the wall, but also be able to use the smart TV to be able to Google ideas, bring in new, new, new concepts, and if they're bored, they can watch Netflix. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what we're gonna be doing with our vlog is talking a little bit about some of the things we all struggle with, whether we're an entrepreneur 
or we're a leader working with a leadership team or an entire organization that spans global concerns, like how do you collaborate virtually? Shonda's got a background in just that. Talk a little bit about some of the companies you have worked with. Well, there, you know, there are a, a lot of different companies that are, that are needing this, and I think I would even argue maybe all do, they just don't always realize it, but whether they're small or large, I've worked with larger organizations, Coca-Cola Germany was one that was a real joy to work with, but also bridging that connection between here in Georgia and Berlin, Germany um, was quite a was quite a feat. Mm -hmm. um, not just communication-wise, it's not just what was lost in translation, but it was the way we were communicating um, and recognizing that. So that was a really interesting um, collaboration piece that, that I enjoyed very much. Working with IKEA, that's another point um, of how they were branding themselves internationally, globally, um, starting, you know, starting of course in Sweden, but moving to Germany and then expanding around the world. That was a fabulous um, yeah, process of communication and ramping up um, how we're going about that, those processes and, and, and clarity about where it's going. Um, but all of it, whether it's you know pharmaceuticals, Werner Ingelheim is one of the larger ones. Uh, Johnson & Johnson is another one. So you know even ones that start out small and as they expand and grow, um, they're still experiencing the same challenges no matter how large they are, which come down to people, those people and communication issues that, um, yeah, that we're, we're looking and, and supporting every day. One of the things that I found working with companies like um, the Weather Channel, Zep, um, Spanx, and mostly with Chick-fil-A, I found that when you get people off-site, get them out of their normal environment and take a moment to sit back and reflect about where you are and where you're going. In fact, I was with a group, a leadership group from, um, from Chick-fil-A the day that Truett Cathy passed. We were already working with the concept of vision and legacy. So as we got the phone call halfway through the retreat that this event had occurred, it became very poignant. And it really touched in on why are we even doing any of this? Why are we going on retreat? Why are we talking about something that seems very soft like vision? But it actually impacts every single day to be able to, to look at what his vision was and how does that get translated in each of the departments from the IT to sales to HR? How does that actually trickle down all the way to every single time you go to a Chick-fil-A, you have somebody say, it's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. That kind of training that you had at Sea Island, so there's that consistency. But it can't just be rote. It can't just be something somebody says. It has to be something that comes from who they are and who they see their company to be. Mm -hmm. So the sandbox is here. We're here because we want our clients to find that message that they have for the world and the message that they have as an affiliate for that message, in other words, the employees. We're here not just to have a great time. A lot of people go and have team building and they have a great time. They go back, they're not even sure what they accomplished. When people come here, they have a great time because we make sure they do. That's for sure. And they take time to actually create a 90-day plan. They take time to actually begin to explore and use the tools that have powerful teams work well together. We use sandbox tools. Some of them are proprietary secret tools. Some of them are the cutting edge or the most tried and true, true, true tools to have teams be effective. And they actually use them during a sandbox. So they're not coming for an educational experience. They're coming here to actually use these tools to build something and take back home. Mm -hmm. We'd love to chat with anybody about how to create their next step by coming here and playing in the sandbox. Look for our next vlog. We'll be talking about delegation. That's something that bringing on new partners has you have to think, how do I actually delegate what I'm doing so that it's effective, so that they enjoy doing it, etc. That's going to be the topic for our next vlog. Thanks for t tuning in.